Hey YouTube, how's it going? Well, as some astute viewers have noticed, I did not get a video made up yesterday. And this would be because I decided to take a nap and didn't wake up until three something or other in the morning, at which point I didn't figure it was there was any point in uh, continuing and making a video for that day. Oh well, it's not critical or crucial, nothing bad going on, I just seriously overslept. Lame sounding, I know, but true. Anyway, on to the questions. The first question is from Formspring. It says, why don't you use Fraps to record your Minecraft videos? It really is the best program for the job. Yes, I understand that it is. However, I've got two good reasons for that. The first, which is that Fraps is not free software. And while they do have a free version, the free version only records 30 seconds at a time. I don't see a whole lot of point in that. I can't imagine trying to put together a decent video only recording 30 second clips at a time. It would be possible, but it would be a lot more work than it would be worth. Uh, the other reason is because from what I've been able to find out, Fraps prefers to use the advanced functions in NVIDIA GeForce and ATI Radian style graphics cards, and my laptop doesn't have one of those. It has the uh, Intel graphics that it came with. The second question comes from Evan Second Tweeter on Twitter. I have a question for your next Ask TFC. How do you deal with internet trolls? Okay, the first thing I have to point out is that the reason that that looks the way it does is because for some reason I went to that tweet page to record this to get the screenshot of it and the text, it was white text on a white background and I had to highlight it in order to be able to even know there was anything there. So I don't know what that's about. Anyway, as for the question how to deal with internet trolls, I deal with internet trolls the same way I deal with YouTube trolls, which is basically to either ignore them or have fun with them. You know, the, the best thing to do with a troll is to be polite to them, treat them with respect. It confuses the daylights out of them. They don't know what to do because that's not what they're expecting. You know, they're trying to get a reaction. They're trying to get under your skin and get themselves some entertainment and if you don't let them get under your skin they don't get entertainment and they either quit or they go bother somebody else either way you can't take them seriously whatever you do the next question comes from Leonard why is it that I always start to bleed heavily from my ears when I have finished my breakfast why I can't say for certain but I think it might be helpful if you didn't clean your ears with razor wire uh, you, know, you know, I'm just guessing here, but that's that's a good possibility right there. The next question comes from DK Sketches. My eyes have been replaced with crying squirrels while I was asleep, and I'm upset. What should I do? Also, my cat has stolen my wife, and I piss rainbows now. Okay, uh, let me take this in reverse order here. Uh, as for the rainbows, you've really got to lay off the skittles. Now, that's all I can say. Too many Skittles is bad for you, and that's proof right there. Uh, the cat stole your wife? Well, the way the cat managed to do this was to do the trick with the crying squirrels. So what you do is you get a hold of the cat, you remind him of how many ways there are to skin a cat, and insist that he fix the situation. There you go. And as for the crying squirrels, maybe they've been cutting too many onions. I don't know. They might be upset about the cat, too. Hearts on Fire says, There's a boiled horse in my coffee, and I can't stand it. It's disruptive, and I can't focus on the wonderful sunshine outside. Any advice? Well, the first bit of advice that I can think of there is to not make your coffee in a swimming pool in the horse barn. Because a horse will inevitably fall in and get boiled along with your coffee water, and then you've got boiled horse in your coffee. So, try making coffee in the kitchen. I know it's a novel concept, but it will very likely reduce the probability of a boil of a horse falling into your coffee water and getting boiled. I mean, that's the best thing I can think of for that. And finally, Richter Vlogs says, "What happened to Fact Trek?" Well, Fact Trek is still around. There's several chapters that I did of a new episode that I'm building and kind of making up as I go along here. I still have them, and uh, if Partner Support can't do something about an undelete or let me know something about that sometime soon, 
then I'm going to start re-uploading videos, and, I, and they will be among those that are re-uploaded. As I can think of new plot directions and new things to do with that, there will be more chapters in that story until it finally becomes a full episode. And then, of course, I'll take all the chapters and put them together into a full, full-size episode. Well, certainly an interesting bunch of questions and some really odd problems. But it's been very fun, very cool. Definitely get your questions ready for the next episode of STFC, which will happen probably, well, I would like to say weekly, but it depends on the rate at which the questions come in. Once there's about six to nine questions, I figure it's time to uh, go ahead and put together a new episode. So, you have questions, put them in there. I'll give you the best answer I can for whatever the question is. And, oh, by the way, now that the Minecraft 1.5 update is out, I am going to be starting a new Minecraft world, and the adventures in that world will be specifically just for this channel. I figure two, possibly three episodes a week. I really don't know right now. And uh, we'll kind of play that by ear and see what happens as it goes. It's very interesting. I've got a couple of ideas on how to play this. And I'm still deciding which one I think is going to work the best. So we'll see how that goes. In the meantime, take it easy. I'm out of here. Hello, it's Tuesday, April 19th. That is certainly an interesting batch of questions. It seems that perhaps the boob is not the only one that was born in the Twilight Zone. The previous question of the day, what is the best coffee? I would think one that doesn't have a boiled horse in it. Today's question of the day, what is the strangest question anyone has asked you? Please let us know in a comment or a video response. Let us be new subscribers, titillating Travis, Schwinanigans, and Stanley Clackable. Welcome and thank you very much for subscribing. Dirty word of the day, Virgil.